What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing our tear in rank regulation G and today we are featuring Chandelure on a Sama Santa team. Now Chandelure, really dope Pokemon, love its design and I love its typing of Ghost and Fire, is rocking the choice scarf as its item today with the flame body as its ability. It's got Shadow Ball for stab, Heat Wave for stab, on top of that it's got Trick to hand off the choice scarf and will o Wisps to burn physical attackers. Now, Chandelure is an all-time favorite of mine, and I haven't used it in a while, so I'm super excited to be rocking out with it today. Hopefully, we can grab ourselves a winning record, or maybe even a perfect record. A perfect record would be ideal. Well, let's move on to Zamazenta over here, our restricted Pokemon for today's team, with Dauntless Shield and the Rusted Shield as its item and ability. It's got Protect, Body Press, Heavy Slam, and Iron Defense. You can set up one Iron Defense with this Pokemon. Body Press is pretty much KOing any Pokemon on the field. Zamazenta is the real deal in Regulation G. I recommend using it a lot. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Zapdos, Urshfu, Raging Bolt, and Amoongus. Amoongus is a great support Pokemon with Spore and Rage Powder. Urshfu is a big time physical attacker with that choice ban. Zapdos counters Intimidate Pokemon with Defiant. And Raging Bolt just bulky all around with that Assault Vest and it's a great special attacker. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Chandelure. It's so funny how I haven't seen Palafin on the rank ladder in months, and I just used it yesterday, and now we're seeing it right here today. Going up against Palafin team with Ice Rider Calyrex, Comfy, Ting Lu, Amoongus, and Indeedy. So they can pop Trick Room. No problem whenever they pretty much want to with Indeedee and Shadow Rider Calyx. Well, not Shadow Rider, Ice Rider Calyx. But we're going to need to find a way around this, right? Indeedee, a little bit of a pain in the neck, right? Could definitely just go for follow me and kind of get after me. But I kind of just want to go into you, right? Boost my defense with Iron Defense. I think that's our best bet. I like it, so I'm going to rock in with Zamazenta as our lead. And I might honestly lead Surging Strikes or Choice Band Urshfu right here. It'd be pretty good. This thing hits hard. He hits real hard. They could end up leading Palafin and then just hard swap it. I definitely want Amoongus in here somewhere. But I think I'm going to lead Urshifu. I like Urshifu. I think it's just such a solid Pokemon all around. So I'm going to lead Urshifu. I'm going to bring Amoongus in the back end. And then last but not least, do we bring Chandelure? Or as I like to call it, Chandelpop? We bring Chandelpop. I mean, it's okay here. I mean, Heatwave is going to be super effective onto the Amoongus and onto the uh, Ice Rider Catholic. You know what? I'm down to bring Chandelpop. If we can waste out Trick Room turns and have this thing with Choice Scarf, it could be great in the back end, just outspeeding everybody. Chandel Pop for the win, we're looking for it, but looking to get Zamazenta boosted here while they set up Trick Room, because chances are that's what they want to do. So while they're setting up Trick Room, we can set up our Zamazenta and kind of like try to play that as a counter to Trick Room, because this Pokemon super bulky, especially with Iron Defense. Especially with Iron Defense, but Ting Lu's going to fly out here with Palafin. Now, Ting Lu's scaring me a little bit because it is a ground-type Pokemon. Um, you could Terrastalize into, into a Poison-type here. That is a possibility. Um, hmm. I could Terrastalize into Water if I want to, and I think that's going to be my play. I think I'm just going to Terrastalize into Water and go into a nice little Iron Defense. And on top of that, we're just going to throw Surgeon Strikes. We're just going to throw Surgeon Strikes because Palafit's going to hard swap here. But the question is, to, into who? I might honestly just attack you at this point. I'm, I'm just going to attack Palafin. I'm not too worried about Tinglu, and I think Palafin's swapping out here, right? Could be into Indeedee, could be into Ice Rider Calyrex, and no, you're just going to stay in here, unless you're flip turning. Unless you're flip turning, but Surgeon Strikes can still do a nice chunk of damage onto Palafin, considering its defensive stats aren't anything crazy. And this Urshu is choice banned. So it's just looking to do some monstrous damage. So I'm going to Terrasize into this water typing here. And we're going to see a Terra pop out here from the Ting Lu going into poison, correct? Makes the most sense. But the thing is, Zamazenta should outspeed this Ting Lu. So it should be able to bulk its defense before Ting Lu even attacks it. So we'll go Terra for Terra turn one here. Flip turn's going to come out here. And I'm still going to have no problem. So he is, he is going to end up swapping. But. He's swapping with flip turn instead of hard swapping. Flip turn. I love that move. A little bit of flip turn. And Amoongus comes out here. That's tough news. That's tough news. I thought you would go into a different Pokemon. Iron Defense is going to bulk us up. We like this. Um, I might hard swap the Urshfu. Just save that. And Surgeon Strikes. Please don't have Rocky Helmet, Amoongus. Please do not. Of course you got Rocky Helmet. Just such a good item, especially with Urshfu. 
Honestly, the Rocky Helmet does more damage to me than it does to Amoongus. Look at that. Surge Strikes did that much damage. Look how much damage I took. Almost half, I think. Yeah, I took about half, which is actually absurd. I think Team Luke goes for like a stomping cancer or something. He's going to end up going for a sand tomb, which is honestly a smart play. Just get pester damage. He's just pestering me. So from here, we're going to go after Amoongus and just try to body press KO it. I mean, mm, it is tough, but I, I still am down for that. And I could just go Surge Strikes into you. I mean, if you want to go for a Rage Powder, you could. You could, but you can also spore me. So I could just go into like Shadow Pop here. Maybe just choice in the Heat Wave. I could go into Amoongus on my own, but I'm going to go into Shadow Pop and just save my Urshifu. So we're going for Body Press here. Body Press should still do a nice chunk of damage. You could put me to sleep, which I wouldn't like too much. But I got Shadow Pop ready to go. And he's just going to go for Rage Powder. That's fine. So good thing I did swap my... uh. Good thing I did end up swapping my Ursha through there. So Body Press doing a nice chunk of damage there. Rocky Helmet going to deal a little bit of damage to us. And Ruination going to come out here and half our HP of what we're at. So they're slowly chipping away on my Zamazenta, which I don't like. Sand Tombs, Ruination, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. So from here, we're just going to Body Press into you and honestly just Heat Wave. Or I should say Choice in Heat Wave. Just to get rid of Amoongus. Who you could swap back into Palafin at this point. That wouldn't be a bad play for you. Just swap back into Palafin. You're just going to protect Ting Lu. So Ting Lu gets to protect. Heat Wave's going to fly here. All we got to do is land it into Amoongus to pick up that KO. And we did, which is good. So Amoongus is gone. Sand Team going to chip up some damage. And I believe they bring back out Palafin here, correct? I believe they bring back out Palafin, which is kind of tough news for us. Pally Palafin. I would think, so you could just like jet punch this Zamazenta and KO it. The Zamazenta dies out regardless here. Whether it be Sand Team, and yeah, there's Palafin. The so Palafin comes out here. We're gonna try to go for a body press, and that Heat Wave can also fly for us. And then we could bring out Amoongus, which wouldn't be bad. Yeah, I'm gonna try to go for a body press at least, and then just drop another Heat Wave. Looking for a couple burns too would be nice. A few burns would be awesome. A few burns would be beautiful. This is not a bad matchup. It's not bad. I mean, they kind of got the upper hand here. They got a full HP Ting Lu just chilling on the field. And Palafin alongside. So if I had to guess, they got to be going for a body press. I kind of hope they go for a jet punch into Chandelure. Because if just Chandelure dies, I'll take a trade for Palafin. I'll take a Chandelure trade for Palafin all day. Chandel Pop. Looking for the win here. It's just going to flip there. You actually just outspeed me. And we survive. And we survive! That's massive because we get off a body press here. That's massive because we get off a body press here. A plus three body press into Calyrex. And a heat wave flying. You don't have jet punch? That's what I'm confused about. I thought jet punch would come out here. No barriers allowed. Heat wave is double connecting, which is awesome. Any burns? Any burns? No burns. Body press flying. Leaving this thing on one HP. Are you kidding me? Leaving this thing on one HP? Chandler is able to eat, which is awesome. And Flame Body comes out. Chandler Pop, I love you. That's a big time burn. That's a big time burn. This thing does have leftovers, but it is burned, which is gorgeous. We got Calyrex down to 1 HP. Um, we do outspeed it, so. But uh, I'm going to die out to the Sand Tomb right here. The Sand Tomb does KO me. All right, so I still have a Moongus, which is really good news for us. And honestly, I think we should just... Try to keep Shannon Lord alive as long as we can and just go into Amoongus here. Do we go into Amoongus and just Rage Powder? Maybe go for like a Palm Puff HP recovery here. That's actually more in my best interest. That's actually in our best interest. I'm going to go into Amoongus. I'm just going to Palm Puff up here. Because if my Shannon Pop... I'm going to Jinx it now. Watch. If my Shannon Pop keeps landing Heat Waves... Then we should be fine, but I know I'm gonna miss Shadow Rider Calyrex now. And it's just gonna be, well, not Shadow Rider, Ice Rider Calyrex. We're gonna we're gonna miss one of them here. I have a, I have a feeling. Well, my plan is here just to land both, KO the Calyrex, deal some damage on Tinglu, and Palm Puff the Chandelure. But chances are, honestly, I should have thought about this a little bit better. I probably should have Rage Powdered here because Tinglu's just gonna outspeed us, and he's just gonna KO Chandelure. So the Palm Puff is kind of a dumb play. 
It was honestly a dumb play. But Heatwave does double connect, which is awesome. You do pick up the KO on the Calyrex. I'm sitting here with Urshifu and Amoogus probably, right? Yeah, you're just going to stop potential to pick up the KO. Okay. Whatever. It'd be like that. Yeah, I should have Rage Powder. That's that turn. Should definitely Rage Powder. That was, that was a stupid play on my end. But I do like where we're sitting. I do like where we're sitting. My uh, my choice band resets. And I have Amoogus at full HP. And I do have a burn on Tingle. So the Pokemon that we are worried about is going to be Palfin. And I think our best bet would just be to choice in a close combat here. Right? Definitely got choice in a close combat. I don't know. I actually don't know. Do we choice in a close combat or do we just go into Surgeon Strikes? What do I do here? What do I do here? I think I have to choice in a close combat. I think I have to choice in a close combat. I don't think I have to, but I just think it's better because we have to get rid of this Palafin. I'm going to choice in a close combat. So Rage Powder is going to fly here. I like He's probably going for a Ruination into a Moongus here. And Ice Punch is also flying, which is oh, tough news. That hits me hard. That hits me hard. You will take Rocky Helmet damage. We need this close combat to KO. Close combat KO. We do. Beautiful. Choice Bane, close combat. Pick it up to KO. My defense is dropped now. Which is tough, but I can just spam Rage Powder hoping Amoongus gets off a couple turns here and just keep going in with a uh, close combat. This top of cancer flies here. We're soaking really well. And you take Rocky Helmet damage. That's nice. That's nice. So he'll take some Rocky Helmet damage. He'll get leftovers. Burn will bring him back and kind of negate the leftovers. Now I can just spam Rage Powder and go into close combat. This is just a solid first match. Coming down the wire here. Coming down the wire, but Chandelure actually clutching up with Heat Waves and Flame Body. Flame Body was massive. Flame Body was massive. So we Rage Powder again. We go into a close combat. Dealing nice damage. He's forced to attack Amoongus, which is awesome because Rocky Helmet is just chipping up damage too. He's going to go for a Sand Tomb. Smart play. Smart play. So he's going to protect here. We already know he's going to protect. And even if you do protect, I hit through protect. Urshfu. I love it. I love the Unseen Fist. I love using it. I hate going up against it, right? It's one of those things. It's like, it's kind of like Kyogre. Like, I love using Kyogre. Hate going up against Kyogre just because it's so strong. The so Sand Tomb chunking up some damage here. I'm going to go for another Rage Powder. We're going to go for a close combat. That should guarantee us pretty much victory here, right? Because we, we, we should have two close combats. Or be able to land two close combats, no problem. So we Rage Powder again with Amoongus. Close combat and attack. And that's going to leave him on almost one. Maybe two. Maybe two. We got some one HP bandits today. Ice Rider Calyx was out there doing it too. But actually, Rocky Helmet's going to win us the game. Beautiful. Rocky Helmet says night, night. Team lose fainting. And I keep my Amoongus alive. So, 1-0 to get things started. What a hot start. Shandle Pop getting after it in match number one. Flame Body, Heat Waves landing left and right. What more can you ask from this Pokemon? We're hopping into our second match. And I see a lot of grass types. Serena... Brute Bonnet, Rillaboom, Shandle Pop's definitely coming in here. They also have Chiyu, they got Coridon, and they have Tornadus, who is a solid, really, really solid, I should say, support Pokemon. So from here, I could honestly lead Zamazenta. I am a little scared of the Chiyu, right? Chiyu is scaring me a little bit, but I love just this defensive bulkiness Pokemon out of it, because they only have two special attackers. So I am going to end up leading uh, Zamazenta right here. And another lead for me could be Raging Bolt. I think Raging Bolt could be decent here i mean a lot of grass types but i like being i like having snarl dragon pulse is good hmm a curve cloak on you that could dodge fake outs for us which is not bad i just go into you i could coach up here as well yeah, you know what? we're gonna go into both of these guys and coach up we'll bring Shandle pop in the back end and last but not least amoongus mm, not really i don't like it with all the grass types one of these three. I think we're just going to go Raging Bolt here. I think being able to have that first turn priority with Thunderclap just works so well, right? It really does. So we're going to go Zapdos, or I should say Galarian Zapdos, alongside with Zamazenta. We might be able to coach up with them, get even more of a defensive bolt going on with uh, Zamazenta, and just kind of go from there. But let's see who they end up leading. Is it going to be Rillaboom? It's going to be Brute Bonnet and Rillaboom. Okay, so Double Grass. I should have let Shandle pop, dude. I should have let Shandle. So they can't fake out my uh 
They can't fake out my Zapdos because it's Cobra Cloak. So I'm free to just attack here. I am free to just attack. What are they going to do? Fake out Spore my Zamazenta? That is a possibility. Defense boost is going to bulk him up. And from here, I think I just protect Zamazenta. And I just go for Thunder's Kick. What's her terror type? Steel? Eh, I think I just go for Thunder's Kick here. I think it's a pretty safe play for us. I hope they fake out the bird. Actually, I hope they fake out Zamazenta at this point. We'll see a Terra pop out here turn one. Probably going into Brute Bonnet. Yep. Brute Bonnet is going to thrust slides into straight poison. Just like the Ting Lu in the last battle. Poison Terra's all around today. Brute Bonnet. I like this build. I love its little tail. Its tail is awesome. The Thunder's Kick going to be not very effective. Take out is going to fly into the bird, which is no problem. We got Cobra Cloak. And I should just start bulking up because... I think that would have been fine. We take negative six damage or we deal negative six damage. But we do get a defense drop, which is bad. And he's going to thief me up. How dare you thief me? Steal my Cobra Cloak. Stole my Cobra Cloak. Not cool. Um, I think it's safe to just kind of start iron defensing here. And maybe just start thunder kicking that. Or I can just like coach this thing up. Yeah, let's just, let's just bulk up our Zamazenta. You give me no reason not to bulk up this Amazenta right here. No reason not to. So I'm going to Iron Defense, have this thing super, super bulky. And I'm going to coach it up. So now this thing's sitting plus four defense, plus one attack. Lovely. Get it, Zamazenta. Get it. Zamazenta real bulked up. High horsepower going to come in here and... <laughs> doing negative five damage. He ends up sporing me. All right, so he spores me up. What are you gonna do? The sport comes out here. Um, I get back your acid terrain HP. Thank you. And I think we just start attacking. I mean, at least trying to attack because I'm asleep. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna go for a Thunder's Kick here. I know your defense is dropped. I could honestly just go for a knockoff here. And honestly, I am gonna do that. I'd rather just start knocking or dealing damage to Brute Bonnet. It's defense is dropped. I know knockoff isn't stabbed, but let's see how much damage it does. Okay, yeah, we should attack the real boom. This thing's bulky. We do take off its Curve Cloak, though. He's going to U-Turn Pivot, do, what was that, one damage? And if you do end up going into Chiyu, which I think you're going to do, we're just going to Terrastalize into, uh... We're just going to Terrastalize into, uh, water. Nice, lovely water. Alright, so let's see what he does. What is the play? Is it Chiyu? I feel like it's got to be Chiyu. It is Chiyu. Okay, so we're going to try to double down on Chiyu. Alright, and he's going to go for a Trailblaze here, which is just not doing any damage. But he's going to get a Speed Boost, so that was more for a Speed Boost, and this could get annoying. This Brute Bonnet could get annoying. Not going to sit here and sugarcoat it, because he's trying to outspeed us. And once he starts outspeeding us, he can just Spore Spam. Which is, oh, uh, mm. we, <laughs> we don't like that. We don't like that, so we got to start dealing some damage now. With the Pokemon that we have on the field, we're not doing too much damage to it. So we can't Terrasize the fish. You could protect the fish, but I'm going for double fighting moves into the fish here. And I forgot to Terrasize, didn't I? I forgot to Terrasize. Okay, cool. He withdrew, he withdrew the fish. So it worked perfectly. Worked perfectly. You're going to go into Cryodon here. So Cryodon comes out here. He's going to Protosynthesis pop this, uh, this Pokemon right here. And I think now we have Terrasize. Let's see. He's gonna go for a sport. Yeah, okay. This is this is gonna get annoying real quick. Can we can we wake up here? Samazenta? Can we get a quick nap? This is gonna get very annoying real quick. Oh, we do wake up. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Body press. Big time damage. Bye bye, Karidon. Let's go. That's what he gets for double spore me. I get a quick nap. I get a quick nap. I get a quick nap. We love it. Alright, so the problem here is he's just gonna put my Samazenta back to sleep, and I think you bring out Chiyu and start throwing heat waves. That's my guess. That is my guess. Or you could go Roll Boom and go for Fake Outs. I hope you go Roll Boom, but I think it's going to be Chiyu. It is going to be Chiyu. So now I am going to Terrasalize. The good thing I didn't Terrasalize that turn. Now we're just going to Terrasalize. We are going to go for a Body Press into... I guess we'll double down Chiyu, but we are so going to sleep this turn. It's not even funny. Can I do anything? I could honestly trick that thing and put it into Choice Scarf. No, let's do it. Let's do this. 
Let's do this. Ready? Let's protect. Let's swap Sleepy Bird over there for <laughs> Shandle Pop. And then we'll trick the... We will trick the Brute Bonnet into... Mm, do we want to trick him into Spore? That's the real question. Do we want to trick him into Spore? That could get annoying, but he already fashioned us. Can't believe we're not Flash Fire. We are Flame Body, which actually helped us. Wow, that did some damage. Did a bit too much damage. Do I want to choice him into Spore? I don't know if I want to. I am so not sure if I want to choice him into Spore. I think I might just want to attack here. Maybe try to get a burn. Yeah, we're gonna go for Heat Wave here. I don't want to. I don't want to choice him into Spore. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> it sounded good in my head, and then I was just like, wait a minute. Why are we gonna give Choice Scarf to this Pokemon? He could just spore me for hours, which he's still already doing. I mean, Zamazen is going to sleep here. We already know this. Yeah, like, haha, so funny. So funny, you're sporing me. Thanks a lot. I think Chiyu is Choice, which is good because we are terrestrializing in the water. And no, yeah, your Choice Scarf. Your Choice Scarf, which is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Choice Scarfed up. And I'm slumped. He's gonna put my next Pokemon to sleep, too. Should have brought my Moongus. Alright, did we just go back into the bird? Or I could just go into you and honestly start snarling. That could be good, because their defense is so bulked, I'm not worried about physical attackers. I'm really only worried about special attackers. Which is going to be cheap. So I do get a Pro Synthesis boost. Will boost special attack. I could honestly just go into a Thunderclap. But I think I'd rather just snarl this one. Actually, you outspeed me. I'd rather just go for a Thunderclap. Let's go for a Thunderclap here. Actually, you're probably Sporn. Why would I go in? Oh, man. I hate this game. He Sporn me. The Thunderclap was a waste. I should have Thunderclap the, uh, the Chiyu. But this is getting annoying, man. Go ahead. Just Spore me already. If this is how you like to play, fine. So be it. Go ahead. You better win this match because if you don't, you gotta quit Pokemon. Those are the rules. If you're spore spamming and you lose, you gotta quit Pokemon. It's the rules. I don't make them. But he ends up withdrawing the fish. Thank you. Buy me more turns here. Buy me more turns to wake up. Let's see who they go into. They're gonna end up going into Rillaboom. Rillaboom comes out here. Rillaboom back onto the field. Thunderclap. Nothing. Because you're spore me. I, I understand. Go ahead. Do it. I, like, like, okay. Fine, so be it. Slumped. Everybody's asleep right now. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what what to do here. This is just a long, annoying battle at this point. <laughs> I mean, I need to get some body presses going. Do that. Um. Try to get some e webs to slow back down this brute bonnet. Other than that, man, it's like I don't even know what to do here. I don't even know what to do. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying this absolute mess of a second battle, but at least we won the first match. But I swear, I hope I win this match. I hope I win this match. How many times are you gonna put me to sleep? You're gonna fake out my Zamazenta, which is fine. Hopefully he actually doesn't wake up this turn. He's gonna trailblaze, get that speed boost. Mm, man, so annoying. I do get back some HP. I am still asleep, which is pretty good for us. Because we're slowly but surely attacking right now. Rage of Bolt's gonna be slumped here. Razor Bolt slumped. Zamazenta is going to wake up this turn, which is massive. It is huge. And I'm just going to look to Body Press and get rid of this uh, Rillaboom. Body Press Rillaboom. He is going to go into Grass Guide into the slot. I'm going to Body Press Rillaboom, and I am going to go for a... Hopefully a Dragon Pulse. I can wake up and just get off some damage onto this Brute Bonnet. So Zamazenta wakes up this turn. I'm hoping he doesn't have Protect on Rillaboom. Because if he does protect here, he's just going to spore me next turn. And I'm just going to stick with a Trailblaze here. So Trailblaze, I'm going to pick up some damage. He might be going for Woodhammer. He might be going for Woodhammer. So I'm going to outspeed. Let's go. There we go. Waking up. Body press. Bye-bye, Rillaboom. One HP? One HP? Come on with that. Now I got to take a Woodhammer. Can I soak this? I love you, Zamazenta. Have a day. Have a day. He's going to die to recoil. 
All right, so we know he is sporing me. We already know this, and he's gonna reset his choice scarf on his, on his what's it called? He's resetting his choice scarf onto his Chiyu. So my plan here is to protect, hopefully have Raging Bolt wake up, and then Thunderclap twice to KO this thing. That's my plan. That's my plan, but I need him to wake up. One HP, you really got off a wood hammer because I don't think we're surviving the Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse looking real scary. But there's really nothing we can do about this brute bonnet until we get it alone, right? Because it, we, it already set up. It already set up. So it's outspeeding us. It can spore all day. It's just a problem here. The brute bonnet's actually just gonna protect. That's fine. We're not attacking you. We don't want to attack you. Wake up, Rage Bolt. Rage Bolt, wake up here. Wake up here, Rage Bolt. Wake up. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big time wake up, Rage Bolt. Thunderclap coming in hot. Half? Not half. We need a half. We need a half. Dark Pulse actually flies in this slot, which kind of kind of hurts the soul. And he has a choice to put somebody to sleep here. He has a choice. He has a choice. We're going to go Body Press here. And I am going to go Thunderclap. I have to keep doing constant damage this thing. I have to keep doing damage. Who are you putting to sleep? Who are you putting to sleep? I feel like you have to go after Zamazenta. Zamazenta might just die out to Dark Pulse, let's be honest here. So he might just be putting, uh... Might just be putting Rage of Bolt to sleep. So Thunderclap doing nice damage. We love that. Spore is going in Zamazenta, which is fine. Which is fine, because now I get rid of the Chiyu. Chiyu's forced to attack with the Choice Scarf. And Dark Pulse is going to finish him off regardless. Yeah, so he should have just went Spore into the Raging Bolt, trusted that the Chiyu was going to KO the Zamazenta with that Dark Pulse. And then he could have had me asleep. So now I can go into Thunderclap, which should KO this Chiyu. I'm be very upset if this thing survives on 1 HP, which I have an odd feeling it will. And then I already have a bird who's asleep. Oh my lord. This thing's defense is dropped a little bit, so I mean, I just had to keep spamming and trying to defense drop here. But what do I even do from here? Knock off? Thunder's kick? And you should double down to Chiyu just in case this thing does survive on 1 HP. But Thunderclap, can I KO? That's massive. That's massive. That's massive. That's massive. Now it's just Brute Bonnet. Who's gonna spore me? Of course he's gonna spore me. This is how we're gonna play it today? How many spores does it take to win this match? And you're not even... Like, we have the upper hand right now. We have the upper hand. This thing doesn't have an item. I actually want to check its stats real quick. It's only plus three in speed. We might as well just send Thunder's Kicks. Trying to get defense drops. And then, um... Lowering his speed isn't really going to do anything. We're just going to go for Dragon Pulses. He's going to Thief me. He's going to take my best. We're just going to knock off that Assault Vest. We're not, we're not dealing with that Assault Vest. We're not dealing with that Assault Vest. So, I'm asleep here. I raise your bolts to sleep. Lovely, lovely, yay. <laughs> like, oh my lord. Go for a knockoff here. And we're just gonna stick with Dragon Pulse. He's gonna thief me again. Thief's actually doing some damage. Thank you for waking up. Can you wake up too, Rage Bolt? Knock off and get rid of that vest. Wake up, Rage Bolt. Rage Bolt, wake up. Mm. So he's gonna put my he's obviously put my bird to sleep. So I have to put my bird to sleep, and this is where I detect. And I go for a Dragon Pulse. Oh, man. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. And he ends up just protecting. So, honestly, I was just protecting just so I can potentially have two Pokemon that are awake. Which is good. And Rage Bolt does wake up. Cool. So, now he has a choice of who he wants to put to sleep. And it's probably going to be Rage Bolt. I feel like Rage Bolt is just a, a bit scarier in this point. I'm still going to go for a Thunder's Kick. Look to drop defense. Help us out a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to go for a Thunderclap. Look to just get off some damage before he puts me to sleep, right? And what am I doing? I keep Thunderclapping while he's sporing. It's just a terrible play. What am I doing? I mean, it really doesn't matter because he's outspeeding me. But... I wish I had Protect there because I knew he was putting me to sleep. Thunder's Kick. Get a defense drop. Yeah, it really, it really doesn't matter if you, if you think about it because he's outspeeding me. Oh, we do get the defense drop. So yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. But from here, we're going to do that. We are just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. And he's just going to keep thiefing me up. Yep, and he's actually leaving my, uh... Or my bird to just keep attacking. 
That's some good damage. That's some good damage. We are gonna try to go for a, uh... We are gonna try to go for a, what's it called here? A thunderclap in hopes that we wake up. Cause if we wake up here at thunderclap, we pretty much win the game. We wake up! You thiefing? You are thiefing! Let's go! That's game! That's game! Somebody, let me know in the comment section down below how many times did our opponent spore there? Let me know in the comment section down below how many times did they spore just to lose the game? They know the rules. They're never allowed to play Pokemon again. We are 2-0. Let's go. That's a massive win. Come on, man. Spore me 100 times and still lose? Come on. That's too easy. That's way too easy. I'm so happy we won that last one. 2-0. Winning up against a Spore Spam. It always feels good when that happens. But we're going up against Ice Rider Calyx in our third and final match. And they also have Incineroar with Amoongus, Urshifu, Helper, and Raging Bolt. So I do like Chandelure here. I like it with the Choice Scarf. I just think outspeeding with Shadow Balls, Heat Wave is going to be really good for us. But I also like our Defiant Bird. And I think we're going to lead our Bird. It's just such a solid Pokemon. I could always Terrasilize into... You should have Steel, right? Yeah, Steel if Hurricane Palper is on the field. Or even... uh. Raging Bolt. So I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into the bird and I'm also gonna go into Zamazin. I think this is a solid lead. We will bring Shanna Pop in the back end. And last but not least, I love our choice band Pokemon. Actually, we could go Amoongus. We could go. We are gonna go Amoongus. Honestly, a better squad for us would be to replace Chandelure with Urshifu here, but it's a Chandelure video. We gotta be using Chandelure. We already guaranteed ourselves to win your record. Let's keep it going here. Let's keep it going. But yo, that last match, way too long. Way too long. Too many spores, too many turns. I didn't like it at all. I did not like it at all, but at least we won it. I would have been so upset to go the distance that way, and then just, like, get nothing. And it's kind of funny, because last night, if any of you guys play Sea of Thieves, that game's so fun. I was playing it with my boys, and we were fighting this ship trying to complete this quest for, like, two hours. A Kraken ended up coming out. We had to fight the Kraken. We had to still fight the ship. We had to circle the island, like, because we had, like, this skull that we had to sell. And it took us two and a half hours. And luckily, right at the end, we beat the other uh, ship, took him out, took the skull, and sold it and uh, completed the quest. So we would have been upset if we wasted two and a half hours to do a quest that we just failed at. So luckily, we won. Luckily, we won. That's the moral of the story. But they end up going to Moongus here with with uh, Ice Rider Calyx. And it seems like we're going to get sport here again, right? It seems like we are potentially just going to get sport here. I'm not going to see your lie. I'm going to go for a knockoff here into Calyrex. And I am just going to go for an Iron Defense setup here. I mean, it seems like Rage Powder. Oh, you're going to spore me. I was going to say, it seems like Rage Powder Trick Room's probably in play here. But no, they're going to spore me. They're going to spore me. We do end up knocking off this thing's Clear Amulet. Yeah, it does have Clear Amulet. And he's just going to go for a Glacial Lance, which I don't mind. You can take out my bird all day. If you take out my bird, you're going to go for a spore. All right, whatever. More, more spores. Like, what, what is going on today? Is today National Spore Day? It's gotta be. It's gotta be National Spore Day. It has got to be National Spore Day. No doubt in my mind, it's National Spore Day. But look how, look how little damage that Glacial Lands did to us, which is great news. But from here, honestly, I could just go into you. And just spore their Calyrex. How about those apples? Yeah, you wanna play Spore? Actually, you probably outspeed us, which is tough news. I could Thrasilize you in the water. Help us out a little bit. Or I could just go into Shanna Pop. No, we're going into movies here. I'm, not, I'm tired of this. I am so tired of this. You guys want to play Spores? I'll play Spores. I'll play Spores all day. So from here, we're going to actually Thrasilize. We are going to go for a Spore here. And from here, I'm already asleep. I mean, we're just going to try to go for a Body Press, I guess. Doesn't really matter who we go into because we are guaranteed to be asleep this turn. How many turns have I been asleep just today? Just, oh my lord. Just leave me alone. Let me play. Let me play without sleeps. Let me play without sleeps. Let's try to size the Moongus just so we can soak up a Glacial Lance. Calyx is going to protect, which was such a smart play. It'd be a smart play. And are you, are you sporing? Are you sporing my Moongus? Don't be spore my Moongus. They're gonna be spore. Or you might palm puff. Actually, can you palm puff through protect? I'm not sure. I'm just, I, I need a break, man. I, I need I need some time off. I need a vacation. This is a lot, man. This is a lot. This is just a lot to deal with. 
This is a lot, man. End up going for the rage powder. Oh man. I've been I've been through everything today. This is just rough. Body press gonna fly. Not bad damage. I wish we would have did at least half rocky helmet, of course. Oh man, high horsepower. We soaked pretty well. I'm still asleep. Hopefully I can wake up soon. Hopefully Papa can wake up soon. I'm gonna go for a spore into Calyrex. And I am gonna go for a body press again. I should have went into the Calyrex slot there. What am I thinking? Should have went right into the Calyrex slot. Should have went into Calyrex. Actually, Calyrex might protect here. This might be better for us. I think Calyrex protects in his spore my Zamazenda. Am I first in the same opponent? I don't think I am, but still, it, it seems like it. It seems like it. Now you're gonna go for a rage powder. Right. Rage powder. Rage powder. Body press. Nice damage. Rocky helmet. Gonna do a little bit of damage. High horsepower KOs me? No? It doesn't. Cool. My Moongus is still asleep. Oh, Lord, leave me alone. Let me play the game. Let me play the game. So we are gonna. I'm just gonna take out a Moongus. I'm just gonna take out a Moongus. I'm not dealing with it. Calyx might even protect here, to be honest. Calyrex might protect, so I'm just going to actually target the Anamugus, because if Calyrex protects, then he wants to spore me, which would be smart. We already know Calyrex has protect. It's not clear ammo anymore, so it would have been nice if we had an uh, Intimidate user. But at least my Moog is still full HP, just chilling here. He ends up protecting a Moongus. How dare you? Can you wake up? Can my Moongus wake up, please? Can my Moongus wake up? Please? Please, Amoongus? Can my Amoongus wake up, please? It better wake up. I know it's not gonna wake up. Please, Amoongus, can he wake up? Please, Amoongus? Oh my lord, dude! <laughs> this is just ugly. This is just ugly. This is just ugly. This is as ugly as it gets. I'm gonna lie, he probably wants to go for a high horsepower. We are gonna go for a rage powder. We should wake up here. We should wake up here, and then I'm just gonna go for a heat wave. Because we're not gonna get swept here. I refuse to get swept. He's gonna thrasslide somebody. He's gonna protect Calyrex. Leave me alone, dude. Let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Rage powder's gonna do absolutely nothing. The rage powder was more so for Calyrex going into like high horsepower into the Chandelure slot. But he's just protecting Calyrex here. Heatwave lands, we say bye bye to Amoongus. Thanks for sporing me 85,000 times. Oh my, I should just put on the thumbnail Amoongus and Brute Bonnet today. I'm not gonna do it, but it, it should be. It should be. Actually, no pictures at all. It's just gonna be message of spore. It's just gonna be a text of spore with a black background. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Alright, so from here, who'd they just bring out here? Is that Urshifu? It is Water Urshifu. So Rage Powder, gonna be our best friend. We're gonna Rage Powder again, and blah, 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 blah. we are choosing the Heat Wave. I can't, I can't do anything about it. Cannot do anything about it yet. Dude, this match is wraps. This match is so wraps. You're usually gonna trash slides in the water, right? Yeah, I, I, I need, I need, yeah, after this, I'm gonna go take a nap, dude. I need a nap. That's what I need. I need an absolute nap. You're gonna go Grass Terra? Oh, to stop Rage Powder. That's smart, but I am Choice Scarf, and I don't think you know that. I don't think you know that. That, that. that might bite you. That might bite you. I hope that bites you. I hope that bites you. Your choice as well. Uh, of course. Of course. Just nothing works in my favor today. Nothing works in my favor today. Actually, really smart play on his end. Not gonna lie. Grass Terror in front of the Shannon Lord just to bypass Rage Powder. Great play on their end. But if they weren't Choice, they probably were gonna die out. That would have been awesome for us. That would have been awesome for us. But Amoongus ends up surviving. I'm not going to let it die here. We lose this last match, so be it. We get spored 6,000 times today. Playing those spore matches are just draining. I, I just need a break now. I just need a break. But hey, I'll take a 2-1 winning record all day long. The first match was a good match. Actually came down to the wire with a great opponent. Second match was unreal. Super spory all left and right. But I came out on top, grabbing ourselves a win. And then that last match, we got spored even more and uh, ended up losing. But hey, again, 2-1 winning record with Chandelure. What more could you guys ask for? But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.
Thank you.